Fractional distillation is used to separate a mixture of liquids which typically have boiling points which differ by only 25 degrees or less. This is the distilling flask which contains our mixture of liquids. This is firstly clamped into a heating mantle. We then place a fractionating column into the neck of the flask. There are a number of different types of fractionating column that you may use. It's wise to insulate the fractionating column with some lagging wrapped in foil, particularly if you're working in a fume hood where the air draft may cool the column down and slow down your distillation. Above the fractionating column we have a standard still head, and into this we've placed a thermometer which will allow us to measure the boiling points of the different liquids, or fractions as we call them. A condenser is connected with water flowing steadily from bottom to top, and this is followed by a receiver. We will collect the fractions using a piece of glassware called a pig, which can be easily rotated, allowing us to collect the next fraction. As the contents of the distilling flask begin to boil, it's important to watch the thermometer. The temperature will rise before reaching the boiling point of the first fraction. This will be evident when the temperature stops rising, at which point you should collect the first fraction. Here you can see the fraction condensing around the bulb of the thermometer before being collected via the pig. You should continue to collect this fraction until you see a change in the temperature on the thermometer, at which point you can rotate the pig in readiness for the next fraction. These steps can be repeated until all the fractions have been collected.